What's going on YouTube? This is your boy Pat. In today's video, I'm kind of going to go step by step on how you can actually develop a Google Drive stack, Google SEO stack, Google stack, Google stacking, whatever you want to call it, how to properly do it for yourself or for your clients, right? Now I did a video earlier on this subject, but I went over it kind of briefly and I was getting some questions to kind of go more in depth and explain it a little bit better because it can be a little complicated to comprehend. But once you actually get into it, it's actually pretty easy to set up, right? So the whole purpose of building a Google Drive stack is pretty much just using all of Google's own entities in order to power up your main money site, right? Now these can also act as a middleman if you do want to use, you know, some PBN links and you don't want to risk your main website to be affected from it, right? The Google Drive stack is a very powerful tool. It's not going to take you to the top of the first page, but it is a great step to implement if you're starting off. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Alrighty guys, so now we are in my laptop. And first off, I kind of just want to show you a picture that I found on Google, right? Of kind of what a Google Drive stack is all about, right? It's really not that complicated. It's pretty much just linking a bunch of Google's properties and then linking back to your main money website, right? Now you can link these from one another in any order that you want. The main purpose is to focus it back to your main money site, right? Now, many people do offer this service, so I might get some hate for this video, but I want to show you guys as much valuable information that I can for free so you guys can go ahead and perform this service for yourself, right? Completely free, right? Why pay someone a certain amount of money when you can go ahead and do this for your own website or for your clients completely for free, right? So this is kind of what it looks like on a basic scale, right? You're just linking a bunch of Google owned property, whether that be Google Sheets, Google Docs, youtube blogger then you have google slides then you have google forms and it's basically just a form of connecting them all to the google site and then connecting that google site to your main money site right so let's go ahead and go into my drive so this example is for a client of mine so you can see we have the google site set up right here so let's go ahead and click on the google site this is what your google website will look like and if you don't know how to access this if you're in your google drive just go to new and then right here you can go to more and here are going to show up all the different Google properties that you can use right and you can even connect more if you just go to connect more apps right so if you go here and you go to Google sites this is where it will take you to create your own free Google website right and here's where you're pretty much going to embed all your other Google properties onto this Google site right so if you can see here, it's pretty much just some basic information that I got about my client. And then if we scroll down, we can see we have a, this is the Google Doc that we actually embedded into the Google website. And if you quickly want to see that, uh, it's pretty much just right here, right? It's just information about the company. We do some interlinking right here. We have some pictures and we have these other links that are linking out to our social medias and different citation pages, right? You can see we have YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Yelp, and so forth, right? So nothing crazy. And we just embed this document into our actual Google website, right? And then if we scroll down, we have some more text about our company. And then right here, we embedded our Google slide and a Google form, right? So you can obviously create all, all of this for free, but just go into a Google slide and create a new document I can quickly show you the one I did for my client. It's pretty much just name of the company, about the services, we embed videos, we talk about our staff, pictures, contact us, right? Nothing crazy again. And we wanna go ahead and embed that as well. And then our Google form, you can just create a simple form, put some information about the business, and then go ahead and embed. And if you're wondering how you can actually put these in here, just go down to the right-hand side you can see you can include a YouTube, calendar, maps, docs, slides, right? So it's giving you pretty much all the documents that you can embed here, right? So it's very straightforward, very simple to do, right? Why pay someone else hundreds of dollars to do this when you can do it yourself? 
So if we scroll down, we also embedded our map that we created with our Google Maps, right? And then down here, we have a Google drawing that we created. And if you go into this drawing, you can see we're also linking back to these other entities, right? We have our social medias, other citations, right? And we're using keywords when we're linking back out using this Google drawing, right? Very simple to do. Again, just embed it into here. And if you have any YouTube videos, you're gonna wanna go ahead and embed those as well. And that's pretty much all I have on here, guys. Like I said, you can add more content on here. You can include calendar, you can include charts, you can include sheets, you can include any type of Google property onto this Google website, right? The more you have, the more power you're going to get. Showing this for the example, just to kind of give you guys an idea and a blueprint, what you need to, what you guys need to do in order to get this Google Drive stack going for yourself, right? So that's pretty, that's pretty straightforward, guys. It's pretty much just creating content and interlinking back to different social media profiles, citation profiles, your Google My Business, your Google Maps. That's pretty much all we're doing here, guys. And then once you finish your Google website, of course, you're gonna wanna go ahead and publish. And one more thing, guys, on your on all your Google properties, you're gonna wanna make sure you publish them. And the way you do that is by going, for an example, you can go to File, go to Publish to Web, and here is where you can actually publish it to make it live, right? This means that Google will actually index all of these documents to give you that power that you want right so don't forget to make them publish and that's pretty much it guys and the way you kind of want to set this up just to make it simple so up here you have your money website right so this is your main website right whatever website you're trying to rank whatever if whether it's your own whether it's your clients this is going to be your money website and then from your money website you want to link you want to have your Google site that you just created, this website right here, you want to have this linking to your main money site, right? And then, like I showed you earlier, you're gonna have all your Google properties embedded on this Google site, passing all of that power from the properties to the Google site, right? Now, if you wanna make this Google Drive stack really powerful, I would definitely recommend to send some PBN links to the Google properties, right? And you can just, and you can send many of these as it's not going to hurt your main money website, right? It's, it's not going to hurt your website by sending PBN links. Instead, it's going to just power up all these properties that you created to your website, to your main money website, right? So this is a very powerful strategy that you guys can implement. Like I said, doing a Google Drive stack by itself without any other link building on page isn't really going to do anything for you. But if you have your on-page good, if you have your technical good, this can be a very powerful strategy. And that's pretty much it, guys. I hope I kind of explained it better. And if you do have any questions, please leave me a comment below. I'll be more than happy to answer any questions you may have. And please leave me a like if you learned something new. Like I said, this people sell this service for a lot of money, guys. So go ahead and take this information and apply it to your own websites, right? Take action on this. I guarantee you, you're gonna see some great results. So if you liked this video, guys, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. It will really help me out to continue making these videos. And much love to you guys for allowing me to hit 200 subscribers. Much love, much appreciation, guys. And that's pretty much it, guys. So I'll see you in the next one. Peace.